Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat, which is a bit dirty. Needs a brushing. Um, Swapper armor, yeah. How was it done? Well, it is completely impromptu. There's no setup, there's no duplicate cards, there's no magnets, elastics, um, strange ladies, magic pixies, flying elves, or any buses. Yeah, there's none of that. As I say, it's impromptu. Spectators can shuffle the packet. You hold the packet facing up and you'll just riffle down the corner and get the spectators to say stop whenever they like. There. Pick up the top half of the packet in a biddle grip, like that, and show them their card, the two of clubs. If you want to, you can get them to sign it. You can. While it's on your hand, get them to sign it. Then you bring this packet in and you'll flip it over. Bumph onto the top. Now as you're turning your hand up to do that to show them it, you're going to push the top and second card over and keep the second card where it is and flash. So you've got the second card sticking out as you can see. So when you're squaring it back up you can then catch a pinky break underneath that second card. So you've got a pinky break underneath them two cards. Okay. Okay. Um, so they've seen their card. You're then going to bring this packet in. I forgot where I was up to. You're then going to bring this packet in and pick that packet up. But you're going to use your thumb to create a thumb break between this packet and them two cards. And turn that pinky break into a thumb break between them two cards and the bottom packet. So basically you're going to have them two cards in the middle. In the middle. Not touching anything. So you'll come over and then you just alter your thumb over and you'll ooh, come away. So you've got something like that. Obviously not that big. This is for demonstration purposes. Them two cards are swinging in the middle. Then you're just going to do a double undercut. So you're going to break off half the packet from underneath and bring that to the top. Then cut everything below the first break and bring that to the top. So you've still got them two cards held in a thumb break at the bottom of the packet. Right? Once you square up, push the bottom cards in so they stick out this side if you leave them square they're going to get seen right even if you've only got a little break they're going to get seen so when you come in just square them two cards push them so that they stick out this side yeah like that so it can't be seen as you say to your second spectator what card did they pick two of clubs to pick a contrasting card as you thumb through the packet Taking the cards off one at a time. Now the first spectator picked the two of clubs. So these are to pick one which is obviously going to be red. Say the queen of diamonds. right? So you've picked the queen of diamonds. You're going to push just the top card over again. And as you flip it over you're going to bring this packet over and drop them two cards. Bink onto the packet. Pull your hand away. And you're going to put that card down for the second spectator. Right? You get a little bit of a discrepancy. You do. In case you didn't get onto it. They've just picked the Queen of Diamonds. I'm flipping it over. Face down onto the Five of Hearts. I now deal the Queen of Diamonds down. And I've left myself with the Ace of Spades. A big difference. Some might get onto it. Some mightn't. If you want to hide it. Turn your hand so they can't see the top card as you put that down. Let them make sure that they see that card coming out and going down. But don't let them see the top card. Split this packet in half and just put them into the middle. Right? So as if you're going to do a swing cut with that packet. You just break it and the packet in that hand goes right in the gap in the middle. So they're sitting on their card, which is the they think is the Queen of Diamonds. Right? Their two of clubs is somewhere in this packet facing down. You can then spread it out and find the facing down card and give it to them to hold. Then you do your little magic bit of voodoo and he ends up with a card, the Queen of Diamonds, and, he, and she ends up with his card, the two of clubs. And there you go. Very easy to do as long as you can maintain a thumb break. That's all you need to do for this one. Very easy. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again soon.